So, uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. What's going on, guys? This is Chris with another episode of Fixing Castles. I know this looks a little different, but I'm out of town right now. So, uh, until I get home, this will be how the videos will be made. So, over the years that I've been in the shoes, I've seen some really nice models. But uh, then again, I have seen the worst of the worst. So I thought that this would be a great opportunity for me to share those with you. But for this to be the first episode, these shoes don't even do my channel justice. They have gotta be, in my opinion, one of the uh, ugliest shoes of 2013. And they get the award for worst zebra print. This is just my opinion, okay? The first shoe is the Nike Flight Posit Zebra. <laughs> this shoe is horrible. They took a classic model that I myself loved, turned it into a theme for the Kardashians. Now I bet money that Kim would wear this shoe, but I know Kanye will be like, but, 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 it ain't but, but, no Ralph though. Uh, it, it ain't, ain't Ralph but, but, level. But, but, I have no clue why instead of just relaunching the original model, Nike just decided to release the shoe without even the cover on the tongue. That is like missing out on the McRib when it first came out, only to get it again to have it handed to you without barbecue sauce. Yeah, I probably could have thought of better analogies than that, but, you know, the fat boy think of fat stuff, I guess. Right? Maybe. So guys, if you ever see anybody wearing this shoe, just be glad it's not you, because a lifetime of embarrassment isn't worth it. Well, unless you like that sort of thing, then I guess go for it. But uh, 